DC is known for its museums, politics, and iconic landmarks. But there's one that stands out above the rest. The Washington Monument. This unmissable marble and granite structure towers 169 meters above the city's notoriously low-rise skyline and has remained an enduring symbol of the US for over a hundred years. But take a closer look and you'll see that its bricks change color here. Now, that isn't just down to bad cleaning. It's actually evidence of the complicated mess that was the monument's construction. This is the story of how an American icon almost never existed. The Washington Monument remains the tallest stone structure in the world. In fact, it was the tallest structure in existence until the Eiffel Tower snagged its title. Built with over 36,000 stones, its load-bearing walls are an incredible 4.6 meters thick at its base, but taper up to a mere 46 centimeters at the top. Compared to many building projects, it looks pretty simple. No walls of glazing, balconies, or trees. But building this 100,000 ton structure was far from easy. When George Washington died way back in 1799, a private society was formed to honor the country's first president. They began fundraising and selected architect Robert Mills to design a monument, a logical choice given that he'd already designed the Washington Monument in Baltimore, Maryland. His initial concept imagined a 182-meter obelisk in a circular colonnade along with a statue of Washington and other war heroes. But it was expensive, roughly a million US dollars. So officials decided to start building the obelisk and deal with the statues later. In the spring of 1848, excavation works began on the 2.3 meter deep foundation pit. The footings were built using large blocks of nice rock set into a mixture of lime mortar and cement. A clever and efficient system of pulleys and cranes was used to create two layers of walls using coarse white marble shipped from a quarry near Baltimore. Stone by stone, the structure climbed to a height of 46 meters. But in 1854, everything came to a halt. Funding ran out and construction was taken over by the Know Nothings political party. Yes, that's really what they were called. Political support for the project dried up and a few years later, the Civil War broke out. Half complete, the monument stood for decades as a hollow, oversized chimney and was mocked as a national embarrassment. It looked as if it may never be finished. But when the Civil War ended, the committee began lobbying for funds again. It eventually gained support from Congress and the Army Corps of Engineers, but the challenges weren't over yet. Engineers were worried that the original foundations couldn't support the weight of the finished structure. So they added slabs of reinforced concrete to the base, and the monument's height was shortened from 182 down to 169 meters. A newly invented steam elevator was also installed to help carry materials as the structure rose. While steel beams were eventually used to support the lift shaft, the structural elements of the massive structure are entirely masonry. Then, to make matters more complicated, the quarry where the marble was originally shipped from was shut down. As a backup, the team sourced new marble from Massachusetts. But the brownish color of the new stone began to look out of place, and engineers quickly sourced the rest of the stone from another quarry in Maryland. To save money, the statues from the original plan were never built. Finally, in 1884, the monument was officially completed, and it opened to the public a few years later. Today, you can still see where the different stones were used, now weathered by time, standing as a quiet record of the decades-long battle to build this structure. Since its opening, the monument has replaced its steam elevators with faster electric ones and installed glass walls and better lighting. It even survived an earthquake in 2011. Afterwards, engineers repaired several fissures throughout the structure. Despite its turbulent birth, the Washington Monument has evolved from a national embarrassment to an icon and is now a revered emblem of America's capital. 
It stands tall above this most powerful of cities, silently watching a noisy history unfold. It's seen presidents come and go, enormous legislative and judicial decisions be wrangled over, and millions make their voices heard. This remarkable structure is so much more than a monument to George Washington. It's a striking reminder of the disruption and horror caused by the American Civil War, a case study in how challenging building in this country can be, and a testament to what determined construction teams can achieve when they believe in what's possible. This video was sponsored by Bluebeam. You can learn more about how their digital construction tools are helping amazing teams around the world at the link below. Don't forget that we're inspiring the next generation of builders through our investment into BrickBorrow, a fantastic Lego subscription service. You can learn more and get started today over at BrickBorrow.com. And as always guys, if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more from the definitive video channel for construction, make sure you subscribe to the B1M.